Morning, y'all. Rig Fearless, Fairless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punchwally Garage and Fearless Services. Good morning. How you doing? Today is Thursday, January, I almost said November, January 18th, 2024, year of our Lord. In my life, the 366 Project, season number two, episode number 18. Today, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine is going to go back to 1967. So, 1967 was 57 years ago. So look at what, well, wait a minute. Here's what we're going to cover. We're going to cover Major Nelson, Doing Nothing, Prime Time, and Genie. Look at things that we watch on TV now. I mean, how many, does anybody know how many options there are for TV I mean, everybody has satellite or cable or I've got direct TV. So there's hundreds and hundreds of choices. Well, back then you had three or four choices in 1967. I'm going to read you some of the prime time top shows of 1967. Back then, when you watched TV, it was usually after supper, and you watched it as a family. Bonanza. Gunsmoke. Batman. The Andy Griffith Show. That was the number one show in 1967. Number two was The Lucy Show. Number three was Gomer Pyle, and Gunsmoke was number four in 1967. You also had the Smothers Brothers show, Jackie Gleason. A lot of variety shows were popular back then, and uh, the big stars, a lot of them would get a variety show, like Jackie Gleason. Lawrence Welk, remember that? A one and a two and a... The Flying Nun, Red Skelton, variety show. Bewitched, Ed Sullivan, variety show. Beverly Hillbillies, Green Acres, Laugh-In. I used to love Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. Johnny Carson, Gilligan's Island. Compared to today, that was pretty wholesome TV. When the number one show in the country is the Andy Griffith Show. My, how times have changed. Let's check that show. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't watch a lot of TV. I watch it early in the morning, like, you know, when I'm not doing the show and I'm doing my paperwork. I have the TV on. Like today, I'm watching an old movie called The Locket from 1940-something. Black and white. Wonderful show. Let's check that truck. Check that truck, you big old... Woo! Hey, that boy likes plaid. Hey, look at that. She got a little rainbow there. So, these are some red and gray and black plaid. I've got several pairs of them. This one has like a red trim around it. It's got the rainbow logo. Black toe, black sole, red and blue racing stripes, two vent hose, black shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. Hmm, what do you think about these? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it. These are say it with me, y'all. These are some handsome chucks. Yes, they are. Okay, got that there. Go over there. Southern slang, thingamajig. What's a thingamajig? A doohickey. That's true. Dad joke. Doing nothing is hard to do because you, you don't never know when you're finished. 
problem is you start doing nothing and you, you can't get out of it. You get in that rut of doing nothing and the next thing you know, you did nothing. Yogiism. Yogi Berra said this. A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. You know how we complain about modern times? And I was just talking about 67. In 67, they was probably complaining about their modern times and longing for the 30s or the 40s. Back in the, or when, in the 2050s, they'll be thinking, man, remember how good it was in the 2020s? Oh, it was good. Not so much. You've got to make it good. You can do it. Let's go straight into Get Off the Couch Motivational Minute. In life, the longer we live, the more we learn who our real friends are. That is true. And how many real friends does somebody need? I mean, I've got hundreds and hundreds of friends. I've got my, my strokers family that I work with. I have my strokers family that come up here to, to see me. And it's wonderful. But I only have a very few good friends like best friends. Only a couple. You can't have enough friends. Having friends is wonderful. But you learn who the true friends are as you get older. Friends I have, the, the best friends I have, are the same friends I've had for many, 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 many years. Stroker Dallas Merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. Also StrokersDallas.com. Did you know that we we sell parts? We sell parts for American-made motorcycles. Harley Davidson, Big Dog, American Iron Horse, Borgette, Big Bear Choppers, any of the of the the uh, Victory, any of the American-made motorcycles. We sell parts. We have a ton of parts in stock. We have a bunch of old parts that are uh, maybe pull-off parts or some used parts. If we don't have a part in stock and I have to order it for you, I'll give you a deal on it. If I don't have it in stock, probably nobody else does either. But anything we order, we can get in a week or less, and I'll make you a deal. <coughs> Excuse me, Scooter. <clears throat> Hi, Lauren Scooter. Love you. I'm going to leave you with this. So, you remember I Dream a Genie and how popular it was. Part of... <coughs> Scooter. Part of what made that show so popular was kind of the, the sexual tension between Jeannie and Major Nelson. Well, somebody at NBC decided to, uh, they should get married. And everybody was against it, but NBC let them get married and the ratings plummeted because that sexual flirting and stuff between the two was gone after they were married. Well, that's just nature there. That's what that is. And that, boys and girls, is the rest of the story. Thursday, we do trivia. Trivia's a blast. Y'all come see me, all right? All right, I got to get out of here. I got a thingamajig. I got to get done. Love you, Bob. See you tomorrow.